Hi, I'm Jody Morris. I'm a park ranger at Little Rock Central High School National Historic Site. And my job is to share with you the story of Central High and help you find your connection to it. My job with the National Park Service is as an interpretive park ranger. And interpretive rangers help tell the stories of the site and we try to help visitors find their connection to a park. And it may be by doing activities or learning the history or learning other stories. It may be creating their own story at a park. I think everybody needs to visit Little Rock Central High School because you will find something in the story that you can connect with. Children who visit today relate to what the Little Rock Nine experience because they deal with school bullying and fears of school violence on a daily basis even today. And most of us can relate to a time in high school when we felt excluded or shunned, not part of an in-group, not part of any group. So many people can relate on some way to what the Little Rock Nine experienced. It is a story of racism and of America's civil rights movement. And we tell the story from that perspective and that history and relate it to other things that happen in the African American civil rights movement, but also how that relates to all of our struggles to be equal as citizens and to demand equality under our rights under the Constitution. One of the unique things about Central High National Historic Site that makes it one of my favorite national parks is, as far as I know, we're the only national park in the world that has an operating public high school. Little Rock uh, Central High School is still part of Little Rock School District. It has over 2,500 students enrolled every year, 9th through 12th grade. And it is fascinating to see a living school um, still working on integration issues and struggling with how do we make sure every child has equal access to an equal quality education. We offer usually two times a day by reservation an opportunity for visitors to take a free walking tour that is led by a ranger and does go inside Central High while school is going on. We don't go into the classrooms, but we will go in the main hallways and into the auditorium. And yes, you may get a glimpse of some of the tigers. We're the only national park in the National Park Service that has tigers. Ours are two-footed, um, but they're alive and they can be very unpredictable. So you get to experience that. You also um, can take a tour on the weekends. Uh, when school is out, we don't go inside the building, but we have a streetscape tour that stays here on the beautiful outside of Central High School. You can also go into the visitor center, which is across the street from the school. And in the exhibits, you can go to the oral history stations and hear the Little Rock Nine, the first nine African-American students to desegregate Central High School, describe that experience in their own words. Why did they volunteer? They did not have to do that. They chose to volunteer. Why did they choose to keep coming back every day when they realized how difficult it was actually going to be for them and for their families? Many people in their life will experience some form of discrimination, whether it's racism or based on their gender, uh, based on other aspects of their religious beliefs or their language or their lifestyle. It's a struggle to find how we can be one country and respect each person's individuality and their individual rights and yet still be a united country. And that's part of the Central High story. And I think every visitor, every person who works here gets a new understanding of that from being at this site. Um, I'm a child of desegregation. I grew up during the 1960s and 70s and went through school desegregation myself. And the year my hometown in Northeast Arkansas started desegregation, my father explained what was going to happen by telling me about being here as an Arkansas National Guardsman at Central High in 1957. He was here first under the orders of Governor Faubus with orders to keep the Little Rock Nine, the first nine African-American children from entering Central High. And then he was back three weeks later under orders from the President of the United States in the federalized Arkansas National Guard with orders to escort the Little Rock Nine in and protect them as they began going to school at Central High. We have so many beautiful national parks, 412 national park sites in the whole country, and seven right here in Arkansas. I guarantee you'll find one that is your park. 